Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we are going to be solving exponential equations with E and with LN. So let's get into it. If you have a problem with an E or an LN, the first and most important step is to get that E or LN by itself. So now I would just add 4 and get E to the X is equal to 14. And then from here, the most important thing to recognize is in order to get rid of an E, you need to LN both sides. But if in order to get rid of an LN, you would E both sides. So we are going to LN both sides of this equation. And the LN of E would cancel out. The LN of E cancels out. And you get X is equal to whatever the LN of 14 is. So you would just use your calculator to type in the LN of 14. Where's LN? LN 14 do, 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 equals... 2.63, 2.639. So x is equal to 2.639, and that's it. That is it, that is it. Now, if you have an ln equation, it's a little different. So an ln equation, you would e both sides to get rid of. So if we had the ln of x plus 2 is equal to 3, we would have to raise that to the e power, so to speak. And the e to the ln would cancel, leaving us with x plus 2 is equal to e to the third power. Now, if you're wondering if you're going to forget uh, that it's e to the third power, not 3 times e, if you hit shift ln or second ln on any calculator, it automatically prompts you e to what power? Well, we want e to the third power. And you hit equals. You keep this stored in your calculator. Keep that stored in your calculator because... We're not done yet. We got x plus 2 is equal to the 20.08, and it goes on for a while. And then from here, I just want to subtract 2 because x plus 2 is equal to this. If I subtract 2, I get my answer, which is 18, not the second one. I hit it twice, 18.0855. So if we subtract 2 to both sides, subtract 2, x is equal to 18.0855. Now, one thing that is different about E's and LN's is when you have an LN equation, you need to check your solution because you are not allowed to take the LN. Can't be negative or zero. So essentially, it has to be greater than zero. So if you plug in 18.5, 18.5, plus 2 is 20. That is not negative or zero. So this one works out, okay? So you just have to really quickly just plug it in and make sure that the LN is not going to be negative or zero. Let's do another two, another two. A slightly upgraded version of both. If you had this problem, where we had 3e to the x plus 1 is equal to 12, you would have to just first divide by 3. Divide by 3, e to the x plus 1 equals 4. And then, in order to get rid of E, you would have to ln both sides. So ln, ln, x plus 1 would drop down, would equal the ln of 4. Now, if this ln of 4 gave me a negative number, that would be okay. It's if you tried typing in ln of negative 4 that it would not be okay. So ln of 4 is 1.38, but it, let, me, let me show you. ln of negative 4, your calculator would tell you, oh, no, non-real numbers. So... LN of 4 was the actual problem. That is 1.386. 1.386, so we have x plus 1 equals 1.386. Subtract the 1 from both sides, minus 1, and we get 0.386. So when we subtract the 1, x would equals 0.386, technically 2. Now that... It could be anything. If you have these E problems, you could plug in any number you want because E can be raised to any power. It is only the LNs that you have to be careful of. We got one more. Just one more. I know it's so quick. Number uh, this one. Number four. Add three to get the LN by itself. We're going to add three. Add three. Two LN of X would equal 18. Divide by 2, ln of x would equal 9. 
And then from here, to get rid of the LN, you E both sides. We E both sides. We get X equals E to the ninth power. So E to the ninth power is really big, just so you know. E to the ninth power is probably in the thousands. It is 8,103.08. 8,103.08. Okay? So that's going to do it for this one. We do have harder examples to come, so be aware of that. There are harder problems that I will be going over in a later video, but this is just the intro of how to solve when you have E and how to solve when you have an LN. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, stay positive. I will see y'all later.